Hello Shavers, it's Magboy Creations. Welcome back to the channel. We're going to continue our Shave America series with Part B, California. We're going to do the southern part of California now. There's so much that we had to share in the first video, and there's so much that we want to share in the second part of the video. So let's not waste any time. Let's get to the show. Did I have a lot of fun looking things up for you guys to share with you. There was so much stuff that I tried to pack into the last video, part A of California. I mean, the state itself is huge, but there is so much that's on the West Coast. So if you take a uh, California trip, you can basically spend a week or more, probably two to three weeks, just going from north to south in California, there is so much to do. Now, a lot of what I share, we're going to capture some of the major points. We're going to capture some of the wonders of the world. Uh, but we're also going to give you some travel tidbits, just in case you didn't know. And uh, if you go out to the state, and certainly you, you take a vacation out there, these are just some exciting things that people report on and things that you can do, uh, as well as you know the backstory and some history of the state that I'm talking about. Now, there were a number of scents that were in the north, and there is similar but different scents for the south. Uh, they had orange, and they also had lemon. So my pick for shaving soap or shaving cream today is going to be Taylor of Old Bond Street, right? Let me see if I can get that there. There you go. Lemon and lime. I don't know if that's in focus, but uh, we recently did a, a video of this. In fact, um, we're using the rest of it today. So there's there's plenty left, but we're going to wipe out that sample. And this will be, I think, our third shave using it. So we got three good shaves out of that little sample from Taylor of Old Bond Street. We're going to put that in the Savannah Scuttle from Naked Armor. And we are going to use the soft bore-like bristle. Uh, this is the Omega brush. Uh, the S brush. So we're going to put that uh, in some hot water real quick. Just let it take a quick soak in the cappuccino mug. Today's razor, we're going to use the Regiment Standard Issue Gunmetal uh, DE Blade Razor. And inside the razor, we're going to go again with the Shark Blade. And for the post shave, uh, we're going to uh, smooth things out with just some cucumber, some Thayer's Witch Hazel Cucumber. And we're going to use some Crabtree and Evelyn West Indian Lime Balm. And then on top of that, we're going to just put a splash of Panade. Uh, we'll put some uh, Clubman on. All right, let me wet the face. Oh, yeah. Okay. So how you guys doing? You guys been well? It's uh, It's been a heck of a journey, man. So we are here on Labor Day weekend, and uh, we're going to get this video shaved for you and out so you guys can enjoy it on Labor Day. I am going to uh, just get the brush all set to go, and we're going to start whipping things up. But as I said in the opening, we had... Oh, going everywhere. We had tons and tons and tons of things to share with you for um for california look at this man probably put too much in here but uh there really wasn't much left so i wanted to use up the rest of the uh the tailors in fact uh, i'm just gonna i'm gonna add some water here maybe thin it out a little bit but um a little bit more uh there was so much going on in uh in our, our everyday lives here that has just been few and far between for the videos but again I didn't forget you guys I explained last time that just had a lot going on so thanks for being patient thanks for waiting thanks for joining today to watch today's video uh, so let's talk about California right we left off uh, it kind of like in the middle of California there was a whole bunch of stuff going on San Francisco Bay Area um, so one of the big things that California is known for and if you guys are motorcycle drivers you can rent uh, you can rent motorcycles out in California 
And one of the things that people love to do is uh, travel Highway 1. You know, you can pick that up just north of San Francisco, come over the uh, Golden Gate Bridge, and then take that all the way down to south of Los Angeles. And it's just a great scenic route along the coastline all the way down California. In fact, that would be, uh, that would be one of the rides I would love to take. That and probably stop out to Sturgis one day, but we'll see how that goes. Look at this. Oh, look at the peaks. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right. I think we have more than enough ladder, ladder, lather <laughs> for uh, about, about 10 shaves. So we'll just, uh, we're going to get it all over the place. We're going to paint the ceiling, paint the wall. Look at this. <laughs> We're going to paint the face now. All right. Mmm. Love that scent. So lime, a lemon, I'm sorry, lemon and orange were the big scents for Southern California. And there are some orange uh, soaps out there that, uh, that I'd be interested in trying and that I'd love to get. I probably will. Eventually I'll get an orange one, but I had so many of these samples and I'm trying to use up what I have as well as get you new stuff to share. So that's kind of why I went with uh, the tobs today. There we go. All right. So we're going to go with the uh, shark blade. We're just going to put that in the hot water and we'll let that soak and heat up. And I'm going to share with you the first part of uh, California, what I was going to share. So, um, Right inside San Francisco Bay is an island called Alcatraz. It takes a little under 15 minutes to reach the island by ferry. Alcatraz is an island uh, that is home to the abandoned prison. The site of the oldest operating lighthouse in California. Uh, by the United States and the onset of the California Gold Rush. The U.S. Army began studying the suitability of Alcatraz Island for the positioning of coastal batteries to protect the approaches to San Francisco Bay. In 1853, the United States Army Corps of Engineers began fortifying the island. Work continued until 1858 when the initial version of Fort Alcatraz was created. During the American Civil War, the island mounted 105 cannons. That's, that's a lot of cannons. Man, as a result of the war, the military constructed the first lighthouse on the west coast of the island to assist with spotting attackers from the water. Fort Alcatraz was used to imprison Confederate sympathizers and privateers, but never fired its guns on an enemy. 105 cannons, never fired one. By 1861, the fort became a military prison, uh, became a military prison, sorry, and in 1863, uh, the military also held private citizens accused of treason. Uh, by 1909, construction began on the huge concrete main cell block, which is what Alcatraz is known for today, and uh, it remains the island's dominant feature. The U.S. Disciplinary Barracks was deactivated in October 1933, transferred to the Bureau of Prisons, and in 29 years of consecutive running, it was used as a jail, and it held some of the most notorious criminals in American history. Al Capone was there. Robert Franklin Stroud, or the Birdman of Alcatraz. George Machine Gun Kelly, Alvin Creepy Carpus. Uh, who served more time in Alcatraz than any other inmate. Um, the penitentiary claimed that no prisoner successfully escaped, but you'll remember uh, there was a few attempts, right? There was a total of 36 prisoners that made 14 escape attempts. Two men trying twice. 23 were caught alive. Six were shot and killed during their escape. And two drowned. And five are listed as missing and presumed drowned. So... That is the story of Alcatraz, and that's a great uh, place to go visit. Um, I, I think it's really cool. There's some classic history there. 
So that was a long winded story, but that's the longest one. I wanted to get that out of the way. And Alcatraz is something that you got to see, especially if you're going to be in San Francisco and you're at the Golden Gate. It's right there. Take the ferry ride. Go visit. All right. Uh, Shark Blade, standard issue, Taylor's. Let's go with this shave. I need one. Oh, my face is saying thank you. Very nice. Oh, that is super smooth. Oh, I can feel it. Oh, my face really needed a shave. So I've never been to California, but doing this research, there's a lot of places that I'd like to go see. I mean, we talked about the gold rush, and there's a lot of places that we mentioned in the old video, or the last video, that alone, you know, the... Uh, The Vineyard, Silicon Valley, Napa Valley, Death Valley. The highest and lowest point on earth, above sea level and below sea level. So that's that's a heck of a, a trip. There's a lot to do, right? But um, in Southern California, you also have Yosemite National Park. Uh, that's California's uh, Sierra Nevada Mountains. Uh, it's famed for its giant ancient sequoia trees. Uh, there's an um, iconic vista of towering Bridal Veil Falls uh, and the granite cliffs of El Capitan. So uh, Yosemite National Park, a lot of places to go for hiking out in California. So if you like to do that sort of outdoor activity, camping, uh, great, great place to go. Lots to do there. This is the second shave on this shark blade, and it's doing very well. And I like the scent. Oh, got myself a little bit right there. A little pimple. Shark blades are on the aggressive side, slightly on the aggressive side. They're like the ostrich. So they're not mild. All right, this scent from Tobbs, I like it. Nice and refreshing. You can see it's dark out, right? And it's only uh, seven o'clock, so it's so dark because we got thunderstorms. I don't know if you can hear it raining, but it's raining pretty good. Okay. All right, so let me rinse off with some hot water and I'll be right back. All right, I'm just gonna towel off my neck. I still got a little bit of uh, wetness on the face and I got plenty, plenty of lather from the tailors, plenty. Look at that, look at that, man, oh, so nice. So nice, mm, pleasant scent. Nice soft synthetic brush. Ooh. Snort some of this uh, <laughs> cream. Okay, make sure that that's on there real good. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, while we let that sit, let's just talk about surfing. 
right? Because Southern California, well, they're surfing all up and down the coast. So um, there's, a, there's probably uh, better hot spots or, or better waves, I guess breaks is what they call them, as you go south of the state, you know, down towards Los Angeles. Surfing has a long history, and California helped the sport get noticed through movies, music, TVs. You know, there's a lot of uh, public, uh, publications that, uh, that showcase surfing. Uh, the surf culture began in the early 1900s. It exploded in the 50s and 60s with all of those uh, surf movies and references. If you do wish to uh, learn how to surf and... Um, and go out into the ocean, right? Just be warned that it is an ocean and there are sharks. Uh, attacks have happened at nearly every spot along the coast. So it's not just tailored to one specific surf area or one particular part of the coast, all up and down, right? It's the ocean. So surfer beware, right? There, there's sharks in the water, okay? And when you go out that far to catch a break, you know, you're, you're, not close to land, otherwise you won't get those big breaks. So that's where sharks can swim around and they're not stupid. Uh, they, they, they know that there's legs and arms in the water paddling and all that sort of stuff. So be careful. Surfing, oh, some of those great movies, right? A lot of them were uh, Hawaii based, uh, but a lot of them were California based. Beach Boys, right? Good old classic music, too. All right, so we're going to go uh, past number two. Cross the face. Cross the green, whatever you want to call it. I mean, there is just, there is very little resistance. I think this sharp blade took care of a lot of it. And you guys saw my face before I started. I had, like... Five days worth of growth. And this shark just chopped right through it. I'm going to just go out across this way. Take care of it. Then. Let's see, we're going to go come across the grain here. We'll turn the other side around. Just make sure that we don't cut our ear off, but we'll just go across the grain there. Still got some pimples, but we're okay. That one seems to stop bleeding, so we're still good. We're not going to chop anything off. Okay, so the mineral bentonite. Uh, can be found in California, Japan, and Arkansas, but only in San Benito County of California has it in gemstone quality deposits. So the California State Gem Mine in Colinga allows the public to dig and take home a quart-sized bag of treasure. So if you like those types of uh, items, then you can go and enjoy yourself and take some home. And then, of course, you have the Griffith Observatory, which is an excellent place to visit if you love hiking, city views, or stars. Uh, there's a ton of science inside, so you can visit uh, and look at like the Tesla coil, a view of the sun from a telescope that won't harm your eyes, a uh, pretty stellar light show, and uh, it teaches you all about the cosmos. So if you're into scientific type stuff, you can go visit the Griffith, of Griffith Observatory. And of course, who does not know about the Hollywood Walk of Fame? <laughs> so if you've been to Vegas, you know that there's street performers and such, and they're there too. You know, the whole thing takes about 10 minutes to do, but, you know, you can call it cliche, but it's a, it's a touristy thing. You can see all the stars on the, road, on the, on the sidewalk. From all of the movie stars, TV actors, you know. And uh, you can go on the Walk of Fame. Oh, and if you got some moolah, you can go shopping at Rodeo Drive. Because that place, 
Mm -mm. Mag can't shop there. Nope. Too expensive. But for some of you, you might want to uh, go spend a dollar or two and just, uh, just say, hey, you went shopping and you bought something on Rodeo Drive. I'm cool with it. Okay. I'm going to do a quick rinse. I'll be right back. All right. Thank you for waiting. Got a little bit of the water still left on the face. Guys and gals, really, all I need is kind of like a touch-up right here in the neck. You know, underneath the, uh, the chin line. But, you know what? I'm having such a great time talking to you and enjoying this shave. I'm going to do a third pass. And I think we're making pretty good time. I really won't know until I get into edit how long this video has been running. But I think we're making good time. But you know what? If you guys are enjoying the video as much as I'm doing the video, then that's all that matters. Put that down. So we talked about Rodeo Drive going shopping. There's also the, uh, the Santa Monica Pier, which is a large uh, double jointed pier at the foot of Colorado Avenue in Santa Monica, California. It's over 100 years old. The pier hosts an original carousel called the Hippodrome, and uh, that's from the 1920s. It has an aquarium shops, entertainers, a video arcade, a trapeze school, pubs, restaurants. It's got everything. The pier's west end is a popular location for fishing, so if you're into fishing, you can head over to the pier and throw a pole in. Uh, during the summer months, the pier is a venue to weekly outdoor concerts, movies, and other activities. So Santa Monica Pier is a very popular place to go. So if you're down that way in California, stop in. Oh, I just got a big old glob of shave cream on my shirt. This thing's a monster. Put that back in the bowl. <laughs> uh, but you all can you can also do a Paramount Studio, right? Hollywood. People want to see the movies, see the actors, see how things are made. So you can do a Paramount Studio tour. And there's also a prehistoric site in Los Angeles called the La Brea Tar Pits or the La, La, La Brea La Brea Tar Pits. Uh, it's an it's a it's a place to learn about dinosaurs and early man. So there's a museum there. It features over one million ice age fossils from 650 species, and a fossil lab where guests can see paleontology in action. So if you like archaeology, there's a place to go and visit. I mean, there's so many places in California. It's ridiculous. I just and, and I'm not even able to talk about all of them that I had found. So. I'll give you one more before we start the third pass. Uh, this one's really cool. I found this exciting. So if you like hiking, uh, you can take a shipwreck hike. Uh, there's a, a and, and I had I have pictures sprinkled in. I'm going to put pictures of this as well. Uh, so there's a, there was a Greek dominator. That's the type of vessel uh, that was located in Rancho Palos Vertes. Or Vertes? Excuse my pronunciation. Uh, the Dominator was, uh, was a freight ship that ran aground in 1961 due to fog and navigation problems. And you can uh, have a hike and you can walk out to where it actually ran aground. Now, there's remnants there of this shipwreck. And there's like a, a before photo that kind of shows you the actual ship from a distance of when it got grounded. And then now there's like a whole bunch of the uh, parts that are all over the coastline because they've, you know, washed up to shore. This is pretty cool, right? I'd love to do something like that. Okay, so let's do um, against the green on the face. What is your... 
shake this up real good. It's going to be a good shave. Get this side here. I try not to talk when I'm doing this part. Because I don't want to cut my nose off or cut my lip. Or my pimples like I just did. I just snagged that one, see it right there? Yeah. I haven't shaved in a while, so I have my pimples, and unfortunately, I'm one of those lucky folks that have the oily skin, and I have to deal with it, right? So, yeah, got that one good. We'll fix that up. Oh, this is so smooth. Wow. This shark blade, man. Ooh, it did great. Okay, let's get ready for the post shave. I'm going to do a, a quick rinse with the cold water here. Ah. Okay. Got it all over my shirt though. What a mess, Mag. What a mess. Got it on my arm. <laughs> Look at this. I'm bleeding all over the place. I can fix that. I can fix that. Mr. Septic Pencil. Yeah. Woo! Good string. Let's do the whole. I could tell. Right around there, I got. Do that. Oh. There you go, Meg. You broke your pencil again. What a pain. They get so thin. You know, the alarm blocks are good, too. I like the alarm blocks. They, uh, they do good. I'm just going to rinse this off here real quick. Okay. I'm just going to let that sit for a moment, make sure that uh, it stops the bleeding. I'll bring you the final few points that I was going to talk about for Southern California while that's doing. It's drying. This is cool if you like hiking as well. So in Azus, California... There is a bridge that was built in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> so it connects to nothing, which is, I found that intriguing when I was doing the research. So there's a, here's, here's a pic of it. So this bridge was originally built to be a road that connects Azusa through the mountains to another highway. And the road was built all the way up to the bridge. Then it was wiped out in the flood of 1938. After this, no one tried to rebuild the road, and so the bridge is now only accessible through a 10-mile round-trip hike. Once there, you can do some budgie jumping off of it, and it's, it's literally a bridge that was built, and, and they call it the, you know, the bridge to nowhere because there's no road, there's nothing there, no remnants of the original road they put in, so it's like, <laughs> hey, Okay, you're out hiking in California, and all of a sudden, hey, there's a bridge. All right, what does it do? Nothing. Um, and then there's also, uh, th I found this pretty cool. So uh, in Big Bear, there's an alpine slide, which is a, a, a blast to do. Um, so it, it allows you to actually try bobsledding on a large cement track. And in these, uh, in these, sled cars you can reach 
upwards of 30 miles per hour. Now it costs six bucks per ride, but it's it looks like it's really awesome. I mean, this is a, a, a well mapped out course that has some high banks and you know, you, you really got to control your speed because you can right off. Uh, and, and here's a picture of that. I mean, that looks really cool. All right, let's rinse this off. I could tell when I was putting the uh, the cold rinse before I put the septic pencil on, I felt some pinches. So uh, I definitely knew there was going to be some there, but that took care of it. Oh, so much better. Feels so clean. All right. Now, let's hit the Thayer's. Let's do some... Cucumber with hazel. Oh, yeah. I love the scent. Just close up the pores, extra layer on top of what the septic pencil didn't get. That shark blade, let me tell you. All right, now Crabtree and Evelyn West Indian Lime Pump. So, put some, there we go. Mmm, pleasant smell. Nice and so soothing. Mmm, very nice. Very nice. Okay, so that is our post shave bomb. Now, let's hit it with some clubbing. Splash there. Ooh wee! Alcohol. Mmm. Oh, it's a pleasant smell, but mm, nice. A bit of a burn, but there's nothing wrong with that in shape. That just means that you got real close to the skin. All right. That is it. Thank you for joining us for this Part B California Shave. So I hope the stuff that I brought to you was entertaining and enjoyable. And if you have any comments of any of the places I talked about or any of the places that you visited that you'd like to add in the comment section for other viewers, then please do so. Uh, let me know your thoughts. We look forward to reading your comments. And thanks for joining us. Uh, we hope that you have a great Labor Day weekend. And we look forward to bringing you the next state in our coming show. Until then, I just want to say thanks for watching. Catch you next time.